Hey everybody, I hope 2022 started off pretty good for you. Mine hasn't so far, but that's okay, it's getting a little better. Now, I wanted to make this video here for anybody that's got a 5th gen Camaro that sees this code right here. It says Service Stability Track. Um, I'm going to show you how I diagnosed it, how I read the codes, and how I fixed my issue. So if your car is running bad, and that code popped up, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So first off, I hooked up my little Diablo Sport tuner, um, see what codes I had. I ended up having P0202 and P0302. Um, those stood for a fuel injector circuit was open and a misfire on cylinder two. So I had a feeling it was up front. Um, my car was running pretty rough and I had that uh, service stability track. I really didn't know what that meant, but having the tuner helped if you don't have one of those you can just go to an auto parts store they'll hook a machine up give you the codes and you can go google them yourself so um anyway with those codes that i had there was uh, a few things that i needed to check to see what the issue was um it could be a bad spark plug so that's the first thing that i'm going to check um if that doesn't work or if that's okay then I'm going to check the wiring harness, see if there are any burns or nicks, anything like that. Um, and then if if both of those are okay, then I'm going to check the fuel injector. And I saw a uh, a way that you can do that off of uh, Chris Fix's YouTube channel. Um, and all you have to have is a screwdriver and some good hearing to be able to uh, to diagnose a bad fuel injector. So. Um, that's the order I'm going to go in. Um, if you want to go straight for the injector, go for it. But, uh, <coughs> I'll show you, uh, my process here. plug wires off what you're going to do is you're going to get a flathead screwdriver like this go behind the gray piece and kind of separate it from the white lift the white piece up like that and then if you can get your fingers in there squeeze down on the gray that you just pulled and then pull it up it's that easy and then you've got uh, the other three on this side and then the other four on the other side here we go
see what it does. No service to Billet Track. Look at there. No lights. It's not Christmas anymore, boys. No lights. Sweet. Now, as far as all the stuff that I had to remove on my car, um, there is a 10 millimeter stud right here. There's one back here. One on this side. Where's this? Oh, yeah, right here. And then another one up here. Those four 10 millimeters you're gonna need a deep socket for. Um, go ahead and undo all the um, electrical circuits. And then the uh, wiring harness itself just kind of clips into the uh, to the fuel rail, um, and then you can put that on. Also, um, once you get your fuel rail um, up, once you get that whole section up, there'll be these little clips on the back of your fuel injector, and all you have to do is just kind of pull one side of it, and they should slide right off. I actually. Forgot to put this one back on, um, so I'm gonna do that right now. So I was able to get this little clamp right there back on um, without even having the fuel rail off. So I don't know if uh, you would be able to reach your hand back through some of those, but since mine was only cylinder two, made it a lot easier. And also, if you didn't notice in the video, um, I lifted up just this side. I disconnected um, the two bolts on this side, but I only pulled up on on the left one here and I was able to change just this front one without even removing any of the other ones. So uh, that's something, if you had an issue like mine where it was just cylinder two, that was a quick easy fix. If you're gonna replace all of them, you would you know, have to take all of uh, both fuel rails off and you might have to disconnect a few other things. Um, and I don't know if if you had to go further back than I did, if you would have to take it, the whole thing off, or just be able to do uh, a quick, easy pull it out and uh, replace it. But if you didn't notice while I was doing it, um, when I went to pull it out, so this is pressurized. Uh, the fuel rails are pressurized and they have fuel in them. So whenever you go to pull a plug out, um, if you're going to remove the whole thing, I would come over here and disconnect your fuel line and make a, a cool, quick uh, tool that you clamp in here and it helps disconnect some of these teeth. But if you did, like I did, and you just removed one, um, when I pulled up here and I was pulling on the uh, fuel injector, I forgot that it was pressurized and had fuel. Just grab a towel, wrap around it, and be able to pull it off. There's not a whole lot of fuel in there, but it'll keep it from spraying all over your your wiring and your engine. So just just know that that's going to happen, and have a a towel on hand um, and be ready for it. So everything was pretty simple. It didn't take me a lot of time. Um, the biggest thing was trying to diagnose what it was. Um, I tried the spark plug. That wasn't it. Uh, checked all the wiring. Everything was good. And then I used that test that I saw for Chris Fix. Um, with a screwdriver and listening to it, I noticed that there wasn't any ticking on cylinder two uh, fuel injector. So I kind of figured that was the problem. Once I replaced it, everything was smooth. Um, to be honest, that only took me about 15 minutes to replace that one. I don't know what it would be if you had to take off the, the fuel rails, uh, both of them to replace all eight, but it didn't take me any time at all to replace that one. As soon as I cranked it up, the Stabilitrack, service Stabilitrack was gone, 
and uh, it was still a check engine light. All I had to do was go in and clear that code. Um, but that's pretty much it. My car is running a lot better now. Uh, it was really rough, but we got it back, back the way it's supposed to be. So uh, I hope this helped you out. I hope this was a quick video. Um, if you're having the same issue, check your fuel injector. It, it may work. Um, run the codes. Uh, other than that, have a good one.